Hello mercenaries and welcome back to some more stone shard. Today we will be starting a new YouTube series in the new update, the way forward update. As you all know, I've been mostly playing so here I am. The caravan is Aaron. gone. My leg is cr mostly playing uh, stone shard on streams, but I thought it would be time to do a yet another run in on just on the pre-record. On the YouTubes, the good old-fashioned way. This, the streams are fun. I've, I have had a lot of fun with it, but it is a different kind of experience, and I do th feel like I sometimes get a little bit distracted by talking to all the people. Not that I, not that that's a bad thing, but it does uh, make make it so that I often lose runs where where I feel like if I had gone all in, I could have probably played around it. And so this time we'll, we'll try hard it. We will. I suppose we haven't, I was going to play maybe Jorgrim, but I haven't really played Velmir that much either. I played that one spear run with him, and we could do spears again. I was thinking about going for like a combat mastery uh, melee build first, and then just see whatever weapons we find. Maybe we find like a, a unique weapon or something cool, like a really top tier one, and then we will go down that line. We'll just make it up as we go along, but focusing on weapon mastery. We tried that before and failed. But it's time to try it again. There's three good candidates for that. I think I will go with Velmir. Uh, upon receiving an attack, Velmir is granted 1.5% accuracy for five turns, and the attacker is applied extra damage. Upon receive, receiving an attack. Oh, really? Is that, has it always been that way? That's not half bad. I'll take is it. Is that so? Inter Velmir. Also ask the innkeeper about local events. Velmir, it is. And Valmy is a cool character. He starts with a cool hat, which means that the initial exploration will not reward us with a, uh, a doctor mask that we can use. We will go with the Skadian helmet instead. We got a decent spear, and we might go with the spear from the beginning. Not sure, but I mean, I think the spear might be slightly better than running with the great sword that I usually go with from the guard barracks. Alright, and the goal here would be to explore the dungeon system again. We've done that on the streams, but regardless, still can, I haven't done a whole lot because I die all the time. And so here we would like to go a little bit further and hopefully get to the troll again so we can beat it in this update. And that's about it. I don't think I ever beat the troll with the spear, so it would be cool maybe to just go full spear. I'm not opposed to it. Go loot the barracks. Loot, says Velmir. Well, it is technically property, but to the discerning eye, there's not much of a difference. Uh, how do we... How do we squeeze this in? This hat is worth nothing, but here's the spear, and these are worth just as little. Uh, I have checked here already. All right, off we go. Uh, and then <laughs> off to the smithy. Wobbling away. Mm -hmm. So how are we going to do this? We are going to do it by playing super duper extra safe because the game has gotten harder since the introduction of the way forward update they just made some balances changes um and there's a lot of balance changes mainly i think it makes it a little bit easier again there was a lot of nerves to the new enemies a lot of updates to the ai where there was some initial uh, bugs when the update first landed such as will always be the case they have ironed those out, the worst of them anyway. And so now the AI is pretty decent in a stone shard. Pretty decent. Uh, do we buy a crude boat quiver? It will optimize my loot a little bit in the beginning of the game. One boat stack doesn't take up that much space but still I would like the blacksmith mittens I love those mittens and 
Oh, they don't. Oh, they don't increase your lock picking skills anymore. Oh, I see. They lower skills energy cost, which isn't a big deal. They do give protection though, which is nice. I see. Maybe we should. We always want to get the knightly girdle if we can. That's a late game item that we can buy at the first. Uh, yeah, well, before we even leave town, and indeed it is here. I will go for that then. We don't need another set of lockpicks right now. We can sell these nails. We gotta go and get some medical supplies, and then the opening strategy will be the same as always. I know it's a little bit slow, but it has to be done. We will go and explore all the points of interest. We we'll just go two splints this time. I usually don't need a lot during the initial exploration, so let's go a little bit thinner. And off we are. So I'll probably go to this point of interest first, and then south. Yeah, that's a bit of a detour. I'll just go south. Hmm. Yeah. Off we go. And in terms of skills, like I said, we are going for Combat Mastery. And then I think... You don't need the accuracy from in here. Defensive tactic. <laughs> it isn't exactly my favorite. Um... Hmm. I guess I hadn't decided. I thought I knew what I wanted. We could go Velmir with shields. Hmm. Well, you always end up with energy problems late game if you go heavy armor, and that's why I think the defensive tactic is good no matter what, because it gives you energy back. Alright, I didn't actually plan out the route here. We are going one west and then all south. Currently we are one south from the town. Let's try not to get lost. I always say I don't want to get lost, but then I do. I think I, I can do this better. So we are here now. Now we go need to go one, two, and three borders south. The year is spotted. Uh, could I be that lucky? We haven't loaded the crossbow. Oh. Interesting how that worked out. But it's never gonna get away from me here. So, hmm. This is one of the bugs that I was talking about with the new AI. Some of the animals tend to not run away like they used to do. Um, they they have gotten smarter in some ways, but but some, for some reason the the specifically the herbivore AI is a little bit off, and it results in the animals sometimes running towards you in their panicked state instead of running away, which is not that natural. I get that animals panic, but I don't think that this is the intentional kind of panic. So we get a bit of free hunting that way, that's fine, I suppose. Now, there are some very interesting changes to some of the other herbivores. This is two south so far. So we, we were there. A rebel becomes alarmed. They had actually, in this patch note, it says that they, they reduced the noise detection ranges of most enemies. Uh, this guy has still echoed on me from very far away, so that still surprises me a little bit when they said that they changed it. But that means it was probably even worse before. And here we see one of the major changes for the game, which is that enemies will try to run. And so you need some sort of ranged ability to either give chase or shoot them in the back. And in fact, letting them come into melee before they start running it's probably a good idea here in the beginning where I don't have the best range capabilities. 
Is that I can you can't escape in stone shard when you already are in melee range. That's one of the really big things about the engine that so far has only really applied to the player, but now also applies to the AI. We've, we've never been able to really escape without taking tax opportunities every while, once in a while, right? And so now it's applying to the enemies too, and they, they're not smart enough to not figure out, well, maybe I shouldn't try to run, there's no way I'm getting away. They're gonna go for it when they do want to run away. But you can look at that, that the other way around, saying that, well, there's no way I'm winning this fight now, is what they're thinking, and then there's maybe a small chance that the adventurer will let me go in some certain circumstances, and some circumstances they are right, where maybe I'm, if there's more enemies on the field, or maybe I'm bleeding to death, I can't give chase. And if they're dead either way, they might as well try. I guess I get that. So what I like to do with the new update here is to spread out the damage, and we'll do that here. Now we could we could shoot at this guy continually, but if I get him lower, he's going to start to run, and this guy is still incoming. I want them to come close, both of them, so that they can't run away. And Velmir is a boss, by the way. There's also some new combat music that we just he heard here. This is in case you haven't seen my streams. I'm gonna point out all the new stuff as we go in. For those that are new to it. And there's no such thing as a bad... Uh, rehashing it a bit isn't bad is what I'm trying to say. Also for my own sake. Let's cook the food that we found. And then we have cleared the first bandit camp. We should sleep here for nine hours. We've figured out that the optimal resting time is not ten hours like I used to think. It Oh, nine does it anyway. Maybe eight does it. I haven't tested that yet. So this is five and then another three. This should be eight hours. And that does not give you the full rest bonus. So we need to sleep nine hours is the magic number. How much hunger do we have? 35 precisely, which is this one here, perfect. Burdock. I don't need to pick up all these herbs. I've gotten bad at doing the, the herbalist quest in, in Ostbrook. Maybe I'll try throughout this series here. But in the initial exploration, we will always fill up our inventory, so I'm not going to focus on it right now anyway. Now we go one east from here. There are some of the mini quests that I always do in my runs, because they're easy to remember, and we always come upon a ton of those items, or they don't take up a lot of space in the inventory, stuff like that. Uh, like doing the scimitars and the iron ingots. Deer antlers and moose antlers. So they're supposed to be... Here we have an, a bunny rabbit that isn't realizing that it should run away. And we killed it. Got some more free food. There's the bandit camp. Enemies, says Velmir. Yeah. Oh, they're already incoming. I see. We would like to hit him with one bolt, and we did. Seize the initiative, and murder. Good. Get the crossbow out, and reload it. Step closer, and repeat. Now we didn't heal to full, but I'm confident. Now we want to spread out the love. Uh, we we'll reload, but then switch. Oh, I didn't get my tactic up. As you hear, he's trying to run away, but I just step after him, and then I get an attack of opportunity every once in a while. I don't know what the percentage chance of getting an attack of opportunity is. I have a feeling like it's like 50%-ish. That would be the, the easy round number. I don't know if it's based off of an ability. Not that I am aware of, anyway. 
Uh, yeah. Then we are going straight southeast. Having cleaned out this bandit camp. We're doing the initial exploration just as much for the loot as we are doing it for the XP. The dungeons are harder now, so we definitely need at least one or two levels before we start doing the first dungeons. And even the, the second dungeon, it really ramps the difficulty now, and I'm not even sure that I can like go through the, the second dungeon in one fell swoop. Uh, I managed to do it on the first stream, but then the second stream I died in that dungeon. Now we find a an enchanted pitchfork, which may be better than my malicious spear. By virtue of the enchant. Because I'm not going to enchant this uh, malicious spear, so if it has like a, an amazing like, fire buff or something on it, it could be better. So right for right now, I will carry it. It might also be cursed, though. Uh, we got a shoot at this guy and hope that we hit, and we did. But otherwise, we don't get the XP or the loot. If you don't kill, like get the killing blow on an enemy, you don't. You're, you have to see the killing blow on an enemy, which means that if they're running away, you don't get the XP, and you, of course, then they don't drop loot, so you don't get loot either. You've, in fact, you've gained nothing if you're making an enemy run away. Making it super important to have some sort of either ranged weapon or chase ability. And chase abilities we do not have. Ah, here's another one of those instances with the, with the weird AI with the animals. I really thought that they'd fix this by now. But uh, sometimes the herbivores will not run off the map. I am sure it is due to be fixed. But it's probably not high on the priority list as much as the balancing of the game, which is a, an absolutely a fair thing. It just means we get a bit of free food. Uh, they were supposed to change the XP that we get from animals, and indeed, the rabbit, rabbit is now t t worth twice as much XP as it was before, two instead of one. It isn't much for the rabbits, but it's probably a little bit more for like deer and wolves at this point. Not wolves, what am I saying? Uh, but boars. Boars fight back now, by the way. And so will bison. But boys, bison would always fight back, but they are a little bit more aggressive now than they used to be, so do be aware of that if you are out exploring yourself. Here's the camp. My crossbow is loaded and ready. I might consume a henbane here, we have a ton. What happened? He got dazed from that attack. Somehow. Interesting. And we got our first level up. Mercy. Let's just fight this guy. Good. So. Free ward, sure, we we'll use it. Um, we need to make space for the crude Falcon and another one. Sacks. Now I'm looking at the abilities. I know we have an upgrade here. I'm gonna. I'm thinking about it because I'm still not really sure. Get the warship, which is which is the starting great sword. Not that interesting. It might be worth more than the pitchfork. I'm really not really sure about this pitchfork. Carrying that around. We are going what through one more point of interest. So I think we should take. Falcon, because it's unlikely that we get a lot of other loot going forward here. Before we hit the town. Let's cook some food. I don't know that we want to spend any skill points right now. We got the combo master we set up. 
Athletics, I would le really like to get the dash. The dash is just such a lifesaver, but it is three spill, uh, skill points spend in a tree that isn't otherwise super good. It, it, well, you know what? Athletics and then, then elusive com combos really well with defensive tactic because then you basically re regenerate a lot of that energy from the guaranteed dodging. That is really interesting. I really thought of that. And then you get dash is the next thing, and the dash is amazing. Both for survival and for chasing fleeing enemies. We are really thirsty. We need to go one north, and then this is one east. Uh, and so a perception, I will take one up. Perception. I always said that uh, any adventure should take one point of possession at, a, at some point in their career. We'll do it at the early stages here. We get more accuracy, which is just a little bit nice. And then um, the new thing with the tech, detect traps that we, is that we can also detect hidden passages in dungeons, which I really want to make sure that we get that going. I don't get one point of vitality, I suppose. That, that's never bad. Also something that I'll eventually get. So now I'm just getting some safe choices early so we don't focus like on any other main things until we know what kind of weapon type we're going with. I don't know. <laughs> He's just running around. Silly, but whatever. We are here, one, two, three, east, and then we are live at the location. I am thinking maybe I would like to go with spears. I do think that that would be cool against the troll, but I'm... So here's here's what I'm thinking then. We are gonna go and do our whole point of interest hunt. And while we're doing that, we usually go and dig up a ton of graves and maybe we find like an ancient s sword or something that we then will use and spec into, right? A fantastic shield or maybe even an ancient spear just wishful thinking but you never know leave it up to chance until we see it um, I lost track of how far we've gone east I think it would be on this tile here. Yeah. Okay, switch. And no one else is coming right now, that's good. Walk away a bit, reload. Come up and engage. Oh, and he's running. Okay. And he's got a friend, so now we gotta shoot him. Okay. Everything worked out just fine. Oh no. Okay. So far no one has gotten away, which is nice. Barrel. Crowns. Barrel. No chest here. Alright. And we didn't find the shovel yet, which is unfortunate. But well, hopefully we will get the... We've always find the shovel by the Leprosarium, the ruined hospital. One of the points of interest. And we want to do that before we bypass the first graveyard so that we can go in and dig it up. But we might be unlucky and the Leprosarium is like up here. Or in the worst case scenario, it's here and I should have maybe bypassed that one first. But we can never know until we arrive. 
go and sell the stuff. So now I know we need the Falcons for that quest. But you know what? If I save the Falcons in this town here, I always find the Falcons what questing in Osbrook before I come to this location and then complete the quest. And then finally, when I do arrive in Manshire, I have left these Falcons behind that are then well, just sold anyway. It's the Scadian Hellman. It costs 1343 gold, if anyone's curious, which is what we then save. But we have to repair it, apparently. Which is apparently very expensive. Apparently, apparently. Lelmi's ring gives us pain resistance and quick chance. Nice. Very nice. Do you have a pitchfork for some easy comparison? No. I mean, the, the identifi identification scroll is not that expensive. So we will go and buy one just to see. Again, it might be cursed. Steady peasant pitchfork. It does more damage because of the caustic damage is added directly. Interesting. Hold on. A plus one dodge. Uh, sorry, blotch, block chance is actually pretty nice. I don't think the the damage is added up top, so it's twenty five over the mischievous. So yeah, it's better. Cool. I guess we'll run with the pitchfork for a little while. Oh, and two caustic damage is nice. That's poison. For those that are wondering, it's not like acid. It is uh, considered the, the poison type in this game. So, which means now we can inflict poison on enemies by punching them with our spear. It's somewhat expensive to repair, but it's okay. Now we go into the tavern. Go upstairs. Just use this barrel here store the antlers and I will store the warm cloak because we are about to go and find a backpack somewhere and then I would either have to carry the warm cloak with me or just leave it behind now and then we don't have the bonus until we find the backpack but it's still better and we save the cloak always for the the troll fight right I say we do the whole uh, point of interest hunt in have I spent too much time no we can do it it's gonna be a bit of a longer one for the initial uh, intro here but then in the next one we can start doing dungeons, which is going to be great. Now we are here to northeast. We have plenty of food, so these poor animals will get to run free. All the way up to the corner for that easier tracking for me. I need to go one more northeast. Oh, what is this? Just a, uh, an ambushed caravan left behind. One east, one north, and now we are at the special location. And I think it is a special location here, because there's not supposed to be a forest here. Very good. Leave the Leposarium. It is... So here's the shovel. Good. That is lucky. I'm pretty much always lucky with that. It could have been one of the last ones, you know, and it's ne it never really is. So it's fine. We can just go in. To the graveyard, I mean. Do the thing. I will grab the mask here, the Plague Doctor mask, because it does sell for a good amount of money compared to most other items. My main hand damage is now already up to 25, which is really good. I 
picked up a bone, I think. Drop it. And I picked up something there. Uh, here we find... I think we already have staves. We didn't. Oh. I'll take the antitoxin. Smash everything else and then we go. Don't want to linger here. It is not a feel-good location. Uh, let's go to the Forgotten Burial, then up here, and then swing over west. Get out the crossbow. Now, I think it looks like the sun is setting, so I think we might have ghouls spawning, but honestly we need the XP, so it's kind of fine. God damn it, stupid rabbits. And yes, you can attack of opportunity with the crossbow. It doesn't I don't really understand how that works. Don't question it, just move on. And that is the only way your uh, range weapon takes durability, in fact, is if you use it for melee attacks like that. Or fight with it in melee to do counter attacks. You can't willingly punch with it, so it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I'm not sure if it is intended or not. But that is how it works. Doesn't look like there's any ghouls right now. I'll find the same traveling shoes we already have. There's another grave. Another golden tooth. I think that was it. No, no, no big luck, no big score here, no big treasure, no prize, on we go. To northeast then, alright. We've got one more gravesite to dig up before we make up our minds about a weapon then, at the very least. Eat the roasted meat here that we started with. And leave that ominous graveyard location. Oh, oh, a bear is spotted. I think I saw it here. Alright, that means that there's a bandit camp on this tile, and we might. It's always fun to have the bear fight the bandits. So we might do that. It's close. Here's a boar. It's definitely getting to be night time. Is it not supposed to be here? Or are we in this forest tile? I think we are. Right. There's also acorns in the game. What is this? A boar. Alright, boars will only get aggressive if you get too close and bother them. So we will just politely step around. It has now decided to become hostile. And so then it will get murdered. And it's running. And it's immobilized. And it's dead. Well. Should have kept its distance. I was going to leave it alive. Pumba, you sealed your own fate. The ruined manor. We don't. We will not be doing the ruined manor. 
again, I, I have a feeling that um, this build is pretty strong early game right now, and so we might actually be able to do it. But that guy that gets spawned, he's so tough in the scripted event, and maybe we could kill him if he was alone, even then it would be kind of tough. But he's not alone, he gets a mid-tier ally and a low-tier ally, and so it's just... It's an early run killer. Avoid the Ruined Manor, that is Kitchen advice when you do when you're in the early game. Or you might well end your run prematurely. And I know we I saw that we are low on water, but we will be finding the, the witch's hut anytime soon, and so we should be just fine. Up here. As far as I'm aware, there's still no way to get in behind here. So we will just loot and move on. Um, that. And here we will find the hand amulet. Put it on. Now we would like to find the location with the backpack as the next thing. I think we go up here and then swing south. West from there. We're getting the ominous music here again. Not sure why this isn't a graveyard. I suppose, in a matter of speaking, it is. Okay, and then one west from here. Try to do this fairly quickly. I think we are making good time, all things considered. This should be it. I have done this opening strategy so many times now. Oh, it is a special location. Which one is it? Looks like the witch's hut. Alright, so we get our water. Good. Because I was a little bit worried. But here it is. No worries. Ah, except one. We cannot carry the things that she's going to give us here. Which sucks. A potion. And a lot of other stuff incoming. Huh, so what we could do is store some of it in this barrel. These golden teeth aren't worth all that much. Come up here, the book. Geomancy book is definitely worth a lot, and the disenchantment scroll, no. Fang amulet is my preferred amulet. And then another just jump at school. Okay, we'll grab another tooth. And then if we find the backpack in one of the other two locations here, we can swing back up by the witch's hut and fill up the backpack. But otherwise, it's not that big of a deal. We are losing out of some money though. About maybe two, probably 500 gold or something like that. So, ah, that may, they, that's probably putting it a bit high, but still, if it's three or four hundred gold, you know, I'm a greedy man, in my games at least. I believe uh, gaming, gaming time is the way, you, the, the way you express your deepest, dirtiest desires, and so I'm not a greedy man in real life, but in games that is where you should explore your... that kind of inclination if you have it. Oh, I forgot that this guy dashes now. That's also a new thing with the board, by the way. It's the only ability they've granted him. But it is new, and it is scary. Uh, this fatty meat is at least newer than the other one. Might as well switch him out. 
So this is not a special location and there will be no backpack here, but there will be a bandit camp. And we will go and murder people. Here they are. Hey you. Catch! Ah, I was about to say we shouldn't shoot him th three times because then he start running. But then he did it earlier than that. Coward. This guy is a little bit tougher. And he takes two blows without running away. Another thing is that they always use their spear abilities now. And count on it. Oh, we got the golden dark. Hmm. I think my pitch walk here is better because of the enchantment. But with that said, I think it is worth comparing them. So let's do just that. I mean, the damage difference is. Got that. <laughs> Um, the only thing is the fumble chance on the pitchfork, right? And it's only 7%. And oh, in fact, we get rid of fumble chance with the CSD initiative. So, we don't care about that, and then the steady pitchfork is just better. It is also worth more money. Interesting. I always thought the Gordon Dark was worth more money. But I suppose it is simpler to make like a, uh, a stud like this rather than. The, the four prongs on the pitchfork, you never really consider that. Huh. Or. Or. No way. Oh, we can't see that here because this one's broken. But I'm starting to wonder if maybe they've changed it so that enchantments now modify the cost of an item. That would be a nice change. Can't see it because the other ones. Uh, damaged. Open sesame. Um, we need to eat something. Tent meat or the bread. The bread lasts for longer, I think. Yeah. Okay, we should sleep. For nine hours then, so up to 18. All the way through the day, just I like, just I like it. That's just how I like it. God damn it! And more water, please. And off we go. Almost done with the exploration now. I unloaded my crossbow. That was a mitsake. It's thick. That is a poor reference for how I often misspell mistake. When uh, I type it really fast, I always end up writing Nitsake. Like, it happens a lot. Often enough like that I think, actually, every time I write a mistake, I check it because there's a good chance that I made a mistake doing it. This is scary. He managed to punch me into this barrier here, and that's why we got stunned. But then we tanked the rest. He just got a lo really lucky hit in early. And I was worried because there might have been another... They usually come in groups of three enemies. So I'm not sure if they just didn't have another ally or maybe we bypassed him. But that they didn't. Oh, signal tower, I see the troll there. We are not going anywhere near the troll there, so let's just move on. We'll come back for you later, monster. Shrek. Villain. Fatso. Alright, now we gotta run before he gets angry. So 
now we are here. One more northwest. Trying to focus on not running into a bear or something like that and ending the ending the run early. It looks like we're clear. And then this is a forest hunt, but it's not supposed to be. So here is another special location. I don't I only think we have the herbalist hut remaining, so it will be where we find the backpack. backpack up here. Then the real question is, do we go back? Back to the future? No, I mean back to the witch's hut. No, I don't wanna. I'm just gonna go with the fact that it's probably like 300 gold and it's not worth it. For the time. Traveling one, two, three, four. It's like traveling eight tiles in in the in, in, in the direction, as we have to go back the same way. Just for three hundred gold. Hmm. It probably is worth it. Now it's interesting. Kill the bunny rabbit without even breaking stride. Oh, this bear has spotted me, but it hasn't aggroed on him yet, and I think we managed to dodge it. So that's the new animal AI is that they sort of do the go and stand your ground kind of thing to protect their territory. It's like, I see you, uh, if you come closer and or don't leave my territory, I will aggro on you. And then you have a few turns to be like, okay, uh, go in peace, little teddy. And then he will let you go in peace. This must be where the special tile is. Which is gonna be a bandit camp. There you go. Get the tactic up. He's bleeding, so... Another crude falchion. He's bleeding, so I don't want him to run away. He got me bleeding. But oh, then he died, okay. We shouldn't have to spend the bandage here, so I won't. We stopped bleeding, good. Oh, we got another Vayman incoming, I see. And he is not aggroed on us yet, okay. So we lost the tactic. Oh, I'm still wounded. Hmm. Ah, it'll be fine. Assuming we can hit him once the fight starts. Now we hit him twice already, which means there's a good chance that he will start running if I hit him again, and he didn't win before then. Alright, and over here. Oops. And the pitchfork, we determined that it's worth some money now. of better stuff we will pick it up and next up is the graveyard it is night time so let's rest until morning so we avoid the ghouls or you know what let's fight for it we need the xp we 
sure my crossbow is reloaded. The ghouls are more scary than these bandits when we've been fighting for sure, so I do have to <clears throat> be a little bit careful. Oh, we got thugs and rebels here. Okay. Always hit the one in the back, because there's a good chance that you hit the one in the middle. Oh, he didn't have a spear. Ah. This guy is uninjured, so let's seize the initiative. Ah, I'm just dodging everything. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, food. The battle paper for the quest. Out with the crossbow. And the good thing about the, carrying the shovel up here is that when we are done fighting at the graveyard or digging at the graveyard, we can drop the shovel on the way back. So even if we find some loot there, we will most likely have the carrying capacity. As we leave. Good stuff. Now, the crew falcon is worth more than the cleaver. On we go. We're leaving behind a battle cleaver, which is fortunate, but such is life. This should be the graveyard location, yes. And oh, we might have arrived now in the morning. Yeah, it looks like there's no ghouls around, all right. So far, no luck with the graves. Oh, there's a small ghoul has been alarmed. Okay, an enemy. Where are you? There you are. I don't know if they retreat. Well, now he can't. I think two units of strength is always nice to on any melee character build. So let's just get that locked down. And it did get make my damage go up a little bit. Which is lovely. Another grave here. Oh, we find the Eastern Quiver for arrows. Four stacks of arrows. Huh. Well, that makes me think we should switch into having a bow instead, because this is a fantastic quiver, obviously. Really good. Uh, right now we're not even picking it up. So this is one of the things where we have... We'll have room to, for it when we drop the shovel, so let me just go and dig up the rest first. Oh, that's cool here. We'd like to land one uh, boat, but we didn't, okay. I'm sure we can defeat it. Yeah. Not a big problem. Got one more grave. One more? Maybe? Oh yeah. Lots of graves here. That's nice. Sometimes you get unlucky with that. It's definitely randomized. Where where and how many? Uh, 
I think that must be it. Good. So then we go and pick up the Eastern Quiver instead of the shovel. This was one south, and then we need to go one southwest from here. It will almost certainly be a bandit camp, but that's fine. Let's just clear it so we can say we've done it. Then we don't have any question marks on the map, which is also very satisfying to look at. I feel like I saw something there, but it was just my imagination. Bandits, where are you? Here they are. Prepare for murdering. Good stuff. The other one hasn't really realized what's going on yet. They do this new thing now that when they've heard noises, they go off and ex explore and like search for targets, which is what that guy's doing right now. So he will like continue to search the area. He didn't see his friend got murdered in the meantime. They aren't the smartest sort. It's still a pretty cool behavior to see. Load, reload. Nothing there. Oh, this was the sex. Okay. Uh, we can drop that one bolt. For a free splint? Sure. And that's it. We've done all the question marks, the points of interest. Oh, here's some more stuff. More people to murder. A little bit of extra XP running around. Waiting to be stabbed to death. Another battle cleaver. We do need him for a quest, so I'm thinking about it. Can we put the quiver up here? No, not with the crossbow. Hmm. Probably eat some food. It just means that we can sell another Falcon, which is worth about 50 gold, so. We are doing an Archer duel. I think we are winning, and indeed. I'm not sure how we are dacing them. It might just be from, like, pain or something like that. Uh, we need, we're still here, I think. We will be passing by the road, I suppose, no matter what we do. So we will find our way. No problemo. Here's a deer. You get to live today, Bambi. I suppose this is a... A female deer, and I don't actually know what sex Bambi is now that I think about it. Was he a boy or a girl? Was it a boy or a girl, I should say? I don't know. Hmm. Well, now that's bothering me. <laughs> But I might have to go and look that up after the video recording here. It was a bit of a longer one, the video. 
on the hour, this is kind of perfect, I'm gonna go to just to the tavern and go to bed, because the next episode is probably not gonna be an entire hour anyway. So we'll do the uh, item management and town business in that one. Which means this is how where we part, dear adventurers. Thank you guys as always for, for watching, and I hope you will enjoy this series. Oh, we picked up some arrow from my quiver here. This quiver is gonna be so good for us. I, I don't know. We might we could sell it. It's worth a lot of money, and the crossbow might be better for me. Uh, at the very least, I shouldn't I shouldn't carry it until we found a decent bow to go with it, but we could just store it in the tavern chest. I do want to go and see how much money it's worth, though. Let's store some anti-toxin, so we're only running with one. And the rest here is for selling, except the source is for the quest. And then I think that's it. See you guys in the next episode.